dead. version 7.9.2 LTS that's long term support X12 plus privacy and security apps in all RoboLinux GNOME KDE XFCE and LXDE 32 and 64 bit versions my name is John Martinson and I'm the founder of RoboLinux you can call me Robo everybody else does Today, I'm going to show you very quickly what we added to our unprecedented 2018 LTS operating systems. With our 12 app strong privacy and security arsenal, version 7.9.2 is explicitly based upon our user requests. These apps are just one click away, but in all eight versions of RoboLinux that you can run with ease right now. Only RoboLinux provides you with serious privacy and security applications built into all eight of our LTS operating systems. No other operating systems on the planet come even close. I'm going to make this video as brief as possible. So if you want more details about our privacy and security apps, simply go to our home page and click on screenshots and videos. And you can learn about all the different security apps. There's X12, X10, and X4 released respectively through the beginning of 2015. RoboLinux version 7.92 LTS has many important enhancements plus maintenance and upstream security updates. The newest VirtualBox, Firefox, and Thunderbird versions as well and three exceptional new apps which are you get download manager I'll show you that in a minute shutter screen capture very advanced powerful screen capture program and M edit absolutely hands down the best text editor as you can see I'm running RoboLinux 64 XFC 7.9.2 but everything you see in this video is also available on our GNOME KD and LXD versions as well with the exception of mEdit, we did not add to KDE versions. So let's get started. First, I'm going to show you you get downloader. Sometimes you can't download everything from torrents, and you don't want to keep your browser running all the time. Then you need a download manager, and you get is a fantastic one that works on Linux, Android, and Windows. It lets you queue, schedule, and categorize downloads, and most importantly, supports download resuming. This is great stuff for people with ISP throttling and bad internet connections all over the world. You get offers even more than that, but it manages to stay lightweight and simple to use, which is really commendable. So you'd install it right here from installers, just like all of our others. One click install, you'll find it under internet at the bottom, and you just click it to load. Talk a little bit about it. It provides the following features, resume downloads, Q downloads, classified downloads and categories, Mozilla Firefox integration through FlashGot plugin, clipboard monitoring, very cool, import downloads, import from HTML files, and batch download. Shutter screen capture. This is the most powerful and complete Linux screen capture app available today. Shutter is a feature rich screenshot program. You can take a screenshot of a specific area, a window, your whole screen, or even of a website, apply different effects to it, draw on it to highlight points, and then upload it to an image hosting site all within one window. It's absolutely awesome. You'd install it by going from your main menu up to installers, and it will put it in accessories. Just go down to shutter and then load it. M edit. Please note that we didn't include this app in our KD versions. You can install it in seconds if you want to via Synaptic. We didn't add it because it has known binaries and we didn't want to bloat our KDE version. It is my favorite editor too because it can cut and paste without having to type control C and V. Instead you can just simply use the mouse wheel which speeds up your work significantly. It is also feature rich. Let's go ahead and load it and go up to accessories. And just click on M Edit.
It's got configurable syntax highlighting, configurable keyboard accelerators, awesome. Multi-platform works both on Linux and Windows, so if you want to use it in your Windows apps, then you can be very familiar with it as you've already used it in Linux. Plugins, they can be written in C or Python if you're a programmer. Configurable tools available from the main and context menus, they can be written, of course, in Python, or it can be a shell script or a move script, simple built-in scripting language. Regular expression search and replace grep and find front ends and a built-in file selector are also included. As you may know, on May 1st, 2015, Robo Linux founded the groundbreaking open source software foundation ROSSF in order to significantly improve Linux desktop software applications. That's very important. We require all users who download any Robo Linux operating system to join as a member for a minimum tiny $2 donation. Every Linux user can afford to join the ROSSF. Imagine if everyone joined it. What would happen to the Linux desktop software applications? Unfortunately, most users have been complacent about this awesome opportunity that directly benefits them by improving the software apps they use in Linux for free. As Sir Winston Churchill once said, to improve is to change. To be perfect is to change often. Okay, I used to live in England, so I can do that. To all non Linux Open Source Software Foundation members out there, I want to remind you of something else that Sir Winston Churchill said. To each there comes in their lifetime a special moment when they are figuratively tapped on the shoulder and offered the chance to do a very special thing unique to them and fitted to their talents. What a tragedy if that moment finds them unprepared or unqualified for that which could have been their finest hour. Therefore, I urge you once again to join the ROSSF. It is strictly for your benefit, not ours, not mine, not RoboLinux's, yours. You can read all about the RoboLinux Open Source Software Foundation on our About web page right here. As you can see, we provide monthly audits so you can be sure that this is a 100% legitimate foundation. Thank you for your time watching this RoboLinux video. I hope you have a great day and may God bless you and your family.